Hey guys, how are you here? Today I decided to make a video on Advanced M2 and I'm just gonna set some cases up where you can use Advanced M2. Now Advanced M2 as the name suggests is not something to be scared about. It's basically just with the knowledge of ordinary M2 you can solve everything, all the targets but most of them are not um, optimal. But Optimal cases deal more with 3 style and I'm not going to go too much into 3 style in this video. Instead what I'm going to show you is how to solve some cases with simple setup moves to uh, a 3 cycle. And that's mostly what advanced M2 concerns. And I may show you a few nice commutators during the end to solve some really bad cases. So without further ado I'll just set something up for you. So here DF is my buffer. I have DF to UB to FR. So even the average M2 user without any knowledge of 3 style uses 3 cycles in their solves. You may do it subconsciously. The reason being that whenever UB is a target in a cycle, and by the way M2 is primarily a 2 cycle method but this particular case that I've set up happens to be a 3 cycle. So when you have DF to UB to another target which is on uh, which is not on the M slice, basically this is a seven mover. There are many seven movers in M2. When you have UB followed by a seven mover, that's actually nothing but a pure eight move commutator. Now the thing is, you do not need to understand commutators to be using them in your solves, and I'll just show you why. So M2 users who solve this. You solve this with M2 U R U prime M2 U R prime U prime. So basically, this was an eight-move commutator with an M2 interchange and a U R U prime insertion. So I'm not going to go too much into commutators in this video. And for the rest of the video, I'm just going to be showing you some examples where you can do some easy setup moves to avoid really bad M2 cases. Okay, so I've set up this case right here and it's df to ul to bu and m2 users you know that bu is the worst target it takes 13 long moves so and ul isn't all that great either it's nine moves so instead of solving this the conventional way with a nine mover plus a 13 mover which makes for 22 you can start looking for ways to get either one of these targets into the ub position now this is bu it's not it's UB but it's flipped. However, so getting it to UB is basically what you do when you take this out and put it back in the um, flipped way. But UL on the other hand can be put into UB with a simple U move. So when you do this, you know that the cycle becomes DF to UB to RU and this is nothing but an 8 move commutator which is M2 B prime R B M2 B prime R prime B and at the end you undo your setup move. So that was a very nice example of um, an easy setup that you can do to avoid a really long M2 case. You can also mirror that. You can do this as well. Just set something up. You can mirror it for here. Um, uh, actually, I've set up this time, I've set up the inverse, I've set up BU to UR, so for this case, again, you can get UR to UB with a simple U prime move, and the cycle becomes DF to LU to UB, so you can solve that using normal M2, and at the end you undo the setup move. Some more easy cases, I'm just going to show you guys. So you get a nice idea. Now this is actually a little bit of um, commutators but it derives directly from M2 there's, so there's nothing new in it. So it's DF to UB to UF. So if you were to do this without cancellations you'd first execute UB, you do M2 and then you do UF as an even target. So you'd be doing MU to MU2 but with cancellations which is an integral part of advanced M2 you would do M prime U2 M U2 so this is a really nice four mover and the thing is you should start looking out for setup moves to four movers 
because they're uh, extremely easy and I'm just going to illustrate this with an example. So in this case we have df to ub, uh, sorry, ur to ul. So if you were to do this with ordinary M2, you'd do the 9 mover for UR, then you do the 9 mover for UL. But if you'd use advanced M2, you can see that with a simple U prime setup, the cycle becomes DF to UB to UF, and you can use the 4 mover. So you do M prime U2, M, and instead of doing the last U2, that actually cancels with the initial U prime setup that you made. So you can finish it off with a U prime. So this is actually um, a five move commutator and it optimally solves this case. And I'll just show you a few more. Another nice, again this is a little bit of comms again. Another nice comm you can use in your solves is this. You have DF to DB to UF. So this case as M2 users would, do, would use, you'd probably do MU2, MU2 for solving DB and then you do MU2, MU2 again because UF is an even target but instead of doing that instead what you could do is DF to DB to UF you could solve it with U wide moves and when I say U wide moves you can use you can make the cycle or rather visualize as if the cycle is actually DF to UF to DB and you can use a 4 mover which draws on this cycle df to uf to db except instead of u moves you're using u wides so to illustrate what i meant df to db to uf you can use u wide 2 m prime u wide 2 m prime and basically all that did was take the u2 m prime u2 m prime and just implement u wides in there so the inverse cycle is pretty much the same df to uf to db just do m u y 2 m u y 2 and now I'll just be showing some of the nastier cases to solve with m2 and here they are okay so for the first case this is actually pretty similar to what I showed in the first example but I thought that you shouldn't be restricted just to use setup moves or you shouldn't get the notion that you setup moves are the only way to go so you can get creative like here the cycles df to bu to lb so here if you do a u move great you move bu out and create a seven mover but that's still not that efficient and it's not a three cycle by any means so a way to convert this into a very easy three cycle is if you do a b prime move it moves lb to ub and it moves bu to br so this is nothing but a nice 8 mover, it's UB which is M2 and then BR which is the 7 mover and then you undo your setup move. Okay I actually showed you guys the inverse case for that so anyway again so you have DF to BL to BU sorry it's LB so with a simple B prime setup move you have UB to BR which is solved with normal M2 and at the end you undo the setup move by doing a B move. So that's a nice case. So don't limit yourself to just the moves on the U layer. Look for moves elsewhere too. Preferably look for one move setups because if you look for two move setups to UB and you have to track where the other piece is going then you might have pauses and you might just be better off using ordinary M2. And now I'm going to show some of the really not so good cases to solve using M2. Okay, so this case is DF to FU to BU. And if you were to solve this, you know FU and BU are the worst targets in M2 and it's going to take you 24 moves to do it. But this is not really an example of advanced M2, but this is an intuitive approach for those who really don't want to get too much into the commutators which I'm, I'm going to show you guys a comm for this case but first of all you could do the usual U setup move so that'll mo make it DF to LU to RU so you'll have seven movers on either side that does cut down some moves but I'll just show you guys a nice comm that I use for this and I just 
hold the cube like this and I just do that to do the insertion and R2 interchange and undo it and similarly you can solve this case this case is also a pain to solve with M2 you have DF to BD to BU again you could the intuitive approach which is not really a three cycle approach is if you just do a B setup move you set this up to DF to um, BR to BL but a nice commutator that I use for this case is I just do a Y rotation and I do this insertion D prime M prime D R2 and then undo it and I'm just gonna show you one more nice little case okay so this is a very intuitive one if the past two I went too much into commutators you'll definitely get this one without knowing anything about comms this one is DF to FU to BD so again a very not so nice three cycle uh, sorry not three cycle it's not so nice to solve with M2 but if you viewed it from this angle that is if you did an X rotation and imagine this to be your buffer you'd have the cycle DF to FU to UB and if you solve F FU as you normally do it that is with this algorithm as you normally do in M2 M2 but if you noticed it it was FU to UB so the last M2 actually cancels so this cycle DF to FU to BD is actually a nice 10 move commutator that you really don't even need to understand how commutators work it's just an intuitive approach which I just showed you and it's um, a very nice solution to that case and I'll just show you one last example for cancellations in M2 advanced M2 that is okay so here I have the case DF to FR to UR so if you were a normal M2 user you think yes you can set up UR to UB with the U prime move but you know that the first move for solving a target like FR is a U move so that cancels and you can just go straight into putting this into the UB position with an RU and then do M2 and solve it as you usually do and do this undo un sorry undoing the setup move at the end so that was another nice 8 mover so basically the goal of advanced M2 is just to use nice setup moves to get not so great M2 targets to the UB positions but don't just restrict yourself there you can even set up moves you can use setup moves like I showed you to get cycles to the four movers that is UB to UF and a lot of sided solves will actually help you see those cancellations so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so please give it a like and subscribe to enjoy more such tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching.